Now let's take a look at a Flash workflow, or in other words, how to upload your Flash content to the web. Of course, the very first step to uploading your content to the web is to create the actual animation, movie, or audio file within Flash. Once you have composed your multimedia, you're going to save that file onto your hard drive. Once this is completed, you have the ability to upload that file to the web, and Flash makes it extremely easy for you to do so. This is because when you save a Flash file, Flash also saves it in an HTML file as well as its own Flash video file. And this Flash video file is embedded within the HTML file, which you can later on upload via FTP or your own method. Now there are several different file types that you will be working with in Flash and it is very important to understand them before you move forward. The very first and most important file type is the FLA file, which is your main Flash work file. This is where all of your content, your audio, your animations is stored and the document that you see on the stage. Next, there's a Swift file, which is a Flash movie. Now this isn't technically a movie file, for example, a QuickTime movie, instead any file that Flash outputs. It's like a cache, temporary movie files for Flash. So this Swift file could be a cartoon, a rich internet document, or a number of things. And in fact, the Swift file is what you're seeing when you view Flash content on the web. Next, there are the FLV and F4V files. And unlike the Swift file, these two file types are actually video formats, or video files specifically for the Flash player. And lastly, there is an AS file, or the Action Script file. This file type has a bunch of code and data inputted into it that controls the overall Flash document. We'll talk about Action Script files a little later on in the series. Now that you know the major file types of Flash, let's move on.